All right, so today we're going to talk about the ice peaker. Uh, probably a new term for most, but who knows, maybe some people will be a little bit familiar. To preface this, uh, I have had the chance to live at McMurdo Station for a few months now, uh, and there are sometimes over a thousand people residing here at one time. Uh, that means there is a real town here. Living facilities, a galley, bars, a coffee shop, uh, large amounts of industrial equipment, and everything needed to maintain these things. So with that all being said, we have to be able to get things here somehow, right? And that somehow is through large cargo ships. But to offload these ships, there has to be some way for them to come into port. So to fix this, they created an ice pier. Uh, the ice pier was first constructed at McMurdo Station in 1973 and has been built and reconstructed as needed every three to five years ever since then. McMurdo is Antarctica's southernmost seaport and it welcomes a number of ships in every year. You have the Ocean Gladiator cargo ship, the Acadia Trader fuel tanker, you have the Polar Star icebreaker that breaks out all the ice for all the other ships to come in, and then you have the Palmer Science Vessel, which comes in for resupply as well as personnel changes. And these are just the ships that I saw come into port this year. I'm sure different ones come in in different seasons, but there are a few staples, which I think are the fuel tanker and the cargo ship and the icebreaker just to make things happen. There are also a few cruise ships that pop in to have a gander at the hut at Hut Point for just something to see for those tourists. So there are so many reasons to have a dock here. Uh, the ice pier's main function was to withstand freight trucks and containers to be offloaded onto the ice pier and then connected by the bridge. Here is called the Bailey Bridge to mainland. The pier is held in place by steel cables holding it to shore. Uh, the pier itself is 800 feet in length, 300 feet wide, and then about 22 feet deep. Uh, this process of actually making this ice pier is mostly lost on me, but this is the general construction of that ice pier. After the sea ice has at least reached two feet deep, fleet operations will build upon this naturally occurring sea ice. Uh, first off, they'll create a snow berm along the perimeter of said ice pier, and they will pump in and flood the ice pack with four inches of water. Uh, let it freeze for 24 hours. And next, they string in almost 7,000 feet of steel cable onto the ice to reinforce the structured ice. They will repeat this process three more times to get its final depth, and then add volcanic gravel to the top surface to insulate the ice which makes it walkable and drivable. And at the end of construction, they will have used approximately 20,000 feet of steel cable and have a platform fit to unload cargo. The whole process itself is wild. And like I said earlier, the ice pier lasts about three to five years. So what happens when this lifetime is met, right? Uh, well, equipment operators will remove as much of the gravel as they can to store for future construction. And then the icebreaker will tow the ice pier out to sea. Pretty insane. A beacon is attached to this ice pier so that ships know where this floating behemoth of ice and steel is floating and just to know its whereabouts so it doesn't hit anyone. It takes a few years to melt this uh, ice pier down and all that steel cable is actually dropped to the sea floor, which is just crazy. The whole thing is pretty insane. It just highlights another reason why we shouldn't really be in Antarctica in the first place, but it is without a doubt pretty cool. Our ice pier this year uh, is going through the removal process as we speak, and it even cracked before the Palmer science vessel popped in, and then it's cracked a few times since then. So this is the last year for that ice pier. Uh, but it made it through, Palmer's gone, and everything seems all right. Um, but that's pretty much everything I have to say on the ice pier. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. All right, see ya.